What is up, super fans? I'm Matt Stockholm, and this is another edition of The Quantum Corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. That will get you into our giveaway. Our next giveaway prize is 200, and will be a winner's choice poster. All right, what's up, guys? My apologies, first off, for not posting lately. There's been a lot of news going around, and if you've noticed, I haven't posted anything. The reason is, our actually, our internet is down, and it's been down for about a week and some change now. We got a new modem, that wasn't it. Now we're waiting for the people to come out and fix it. And it's it's not local, so it usually takes them a little while. So we actually have till next Tuesday before our Wi-Fi will be back up. So that is why all my editing, all the stuff that I do involves internet, so and I haven't had that. So my apologies for having a phone video, but that's why I'm doing this, so I can just upload it to a local Wi-Fi source and get you guys something. So. Without any more of that, let's get into some of the news. I want to do a quick rundown of what's been going on, what's been breaking, give you my insight on it, and then hopefully hear back from you guys of what you think. So first off, we get the new glimpse of this Phase 4 MCU, which is featuring movies like Black Widow, Doctor Strange 2, Eternals, and even Shang-Chi. So these are some of the ones that are, I think, rumored to be sooner rather than later, but if you've seen the the slate out there there's been a bunch of different stuff with ant-man and the microverse and the avengers i don't know that this is all totally confirmed but it looks about right for what's coming now speaking of the black widow movie there's been some leaked footage rolling around online which is leading people to believe obviously <laughs> by her hair again just like with endgame uh, that they're thinking that this movie is going to fall between civil war and infinity war so obviously we're gonna have to wait to see but there's also uh, origin aspect where we're going to see some of her past and how she became the deadly assassin and then the beloved Avenger that we all know and love now. So I'm excited for the Black Widow movie and also for Phase 4 and I know they've got something up their sleeve and they're building to something. Okay, the next little thing, well not little but next couple of things, Deadpool and Venom to the MCU. Woo -woo! So they talked openly about keeping Deadpool's character, Ryan Reynolds, in the MCU, and I think that's a must. It's been really popular. He's killed it there. It's been very, very, very popular. Um, so it's just a matter of time before he comes in. And now they're talking about, there's news out there saying that Spider-Man 3 is going to be his debut, and along with Deadpool having his debut in Spider-Man 3, apparently it's rumored that Venom may also be in Spider-Man 3. So I'm really excited about this. And moving forward, there was talk of the MCU finding their Norman Osborn. There hasn't been a name that I've seen yet, but it looks like they've landed on the guy they want, and that's going to be an important character moving forward, not just in Spidey's future, but in the MCU, especially with movies like Dark Avengers and the Thunderbolts being rumored to be in early stages of production. This is They have to have a, a Norman Osborn, or it just isn't going to work. So I don't know whether he'll maybe be in Spider-Man 2, like a post-credit, and then be the main villain or the uh, key character in Spider-Man 3, and we'll kind of see it all shakes together, but that's kind of the gist of that. The last little bit of news, uh, rumor out there that Charlie Hunnam is being cast for the Solo Wolverine movie. If you're not familiar with him, uh, he's from the TV show, uh, oh gosh, Sons of Anarchy, thank you. Uh, sorry, brain fart for a minute. Uh, he comes from the TV show Sons of Anarchy. He's been in Pacific Rim. He's been in a few different movies. I really like him. I think this could be a really good choice. Um, so definitely let me know what you guys think. Are you happy with Charlie Hunnam? Are you not happy? What do you think about Deadpool, about Venom? As always, don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. That will get you into our giveaway. And just a little quick update, I'm going to be doing some prize updates. So once I get back and running fully with the Wi-Fi and everything, um, then I will have uh, some more channel update stuff. So stay tuned, guys. Keep watching. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate it again. Sorry for the delay. And just stay super out there, everybody. From the Quantum Corner, I'm Matt Stockholm saying, geek on. Thanks, guys.